Hello, I'm Steve Hunt from Colbeam Games, developer of Beat Hazard and Beat Hazard 2. And today this is going to be the first uh, video development blog of Beat Hazard 2. And I can show you where I'm up to and talk about some of the features and uh, what's going on with the development. So, to start with, let me just fire it up. Okay. So this is the, the early stages of Beat Hazard 2. Uh, it's obviously, uh, <laughs> uh, there's, not, there's not much there at the moment. I've currently focused on getting some uh, the music management system working and some visualizers. So there's, there's no gameplay uh, in it at the moment, but I wanted to get some of the nitty gritty bits out of the way first. Um, This is what's playing is um, this time round as well. I'm getting an original soundtrack made by uh, Johnny Fritz, who did some music for the original Beat Hazard, which was brilliant. Uh, this time round, it, it does some really good stuff, and because it's the original soundtrack, you're going to be able to buy this as a as an optional uh, add-on when the game comes out. At the moment, we've got about five tracks. Probably going to add a few more. Uh, but it's just brilliant, brilliant music. I'm really pleased with it at the moment. It's just it's gone so well. Um, let me have a quick look at the visualizer. I'm going to try to make it a bit, a bit more in your face than the last one. And there's, there's sort of five different types, uh, which it just, it just, just flicks between on its own. Okay. Uh, and here's the managed music. This time, I wanted to make. Uh, working with the music a lot easier. Um, it was, last time it was a bit clunky. Uh, it's, it's not finished yet. Obviously, nothing's finished yet, um, and hopefully, it'll get a bit better. So, as with Beat As One, if you've got local tracks, you, you've got the option to search your computer, um, and find find all the bits and bobs, which will get uh, so put into albums, artists, genre. You can do things like favourites now, so you can add a favourite track and you can bin tracks and that's also available at the top as, as a track is playing. I've also integrated Shoutcast Radio properly, whereas last time we just used to have a few um, HTML um, and a few hyperlinks to stations that always used to change and used to keep going on now. It actually downloads a full station list from Shoutcast, so it's always up to date. So, for example, if I click on this one, there you go, it's now playing. That's the top, currently the top track on Shoutcast. And then you've also split this into genre, which is, which is pretty cool. So I can go to, say, decades, where they got there it is. And, I'll say 90s. And get one of these, for some reason that says 80s. There you go. And then if you want to, you can, you can favourite any of these. There you go. There's, there's a few other radio station providers as well, which potentially could get uh, put into the game. So this is just the start. But hopefully there'll be other ways of uh, streaming music from, from radio stations. This is the most interesting bit though, which obviously a lot of people these days use Spotify or Apple Music and there's no way, the, the, the moment there's no way to, for developers to get access to that music. Spotify say they may do it at some point, maybe they did do it and then he took it away, maybe they'll put it back, you know, but um, really you need access to all of them. So, and it's probably unlikely to happen. So the only way really around that is to have an open mic system and Windows, which has got a really handy feature where it can listen in on, on any of the output or input devices and you can access the, the sounds from there. So uh, essentially the, the game can listen in on, onto anything. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that. So here's my web browser on Amazon Music. If I click on open mic now, it goes quiet. You can't hear me. So I just go to my web browser 
this is the best of uh, Prime Music, if I just press play, that's Havana playing, and you can see straight away the game's reacting to it, it knows it's listening in. So which is, <laughs> which is great, it's great to get that working. Um, and that obviously can be, you can, that can be coming from anywhere. Which is brilliant, it's brilliant because it means you can you can use any music source you want now, uh, even if the game can't get to it directly. Okay, so for example, if I go back to my web browser, pause that, okay, just got one queued up, here's YouTube with Ed Sheeran. Okay, so there you have it. Obviously, the the slight downside is that the the game doesn't know what track is being played. Uh, it, essentially, so it's similar to I guess playing from a radio station in that when you play the game to open mic, uh, it won't necessarily know when a track starts and ends. So it'll be more maybe survival mode or boss rush mode. Um, <coughs> there is a slim chance that I can use a Shazam type system to listen and identify the track that's being played there's numerous ways of doing that but none of them are necessarily uh, going to be workable in the game some you have to pay for and could end up quite expensive some are free and don't work that well so i'm still looking into that and um, we'll see how that goes But I was very happy to Let get that working. It was a. Uh, it's it's pretty. Me on your shoulders when I'm tired. What have we got? So yeah, well, that's the basics of what I'll I've got working so me. far. Um, the things you do for your children today will stay with them forever. Help take care of their futures. I plan on adding, you know, starting to add the, the gameplay stuff pretty soon. Uh, now I've got the back of it broken in terms of music management and the, the actual visualizer. Um, this, <coughs> from a technical point of view, this game is written off the back of Martial Arts Brutality, not Beat Hazard. Uh, if you haven't played Martial Arts Brutality, I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description. It's, it's a free game that if one I've just sort of, I'm still working on it, sort of finished. Uh, martial, it's a tactical card game with martial arts, and if you want to try it out, go for it. It's on mobile, it's on Steam. But this game is built on top of that, which might sound odd, but the reason Martial Arts Brutality took quite long is because I had in mind building something a bit more, uh, a, bit, a bit wider in scope so that I can then be, build Beat Hazard 2 on top of it, uh, which has worked really well. Uh, it's enabled me to jump forward in development really quickly, so hopefully things will carry on that way. Uh, in terms of platforms is initially going to be out on Steam. Whether I do mobile versions or console versions is, is down to how well the game does. Um, we'll see what happens at the time. I've not committed either way at the moment to those. Um, in terms of release times, hopefully looking to get a beta version ready for the summer. Um, in terms of Oh, well, I'll talk about the gameplay. Yeah, the obviously it's, it's I want I need to include as many features as I can from the original Beat Hazard with Un Ultra and Shadow Ops. So that's the sort of starting point. It's gonna it's gonna have that level of, of features. One thing that I'm that I'm not gonna try and do this time is real time multiplayer. It's just uh, very difficult to write and you've got problems with the legalities of streaming music which you can't do so then there was the problem of people having to have the same music and then on top of all that once it's all done nobody plays it so it's it's just something that I'm, I'm going to skip this time but I will however will be looking at doing some asynchronous challenges which as a way of uh, replacing that which hopefully will be pretty interesting uh, hope to do purse song leaderboards. Um, the other big thing that I'm really interested in doing is music generated content. So this time around, 
the bosses themselves will be shaped by the music. So as you're playing the track, I've sort of got an idea of possibly you can maybe see the boss forming as the track goes along and it's sort of hiding behind some clouds or possibly appearing at the last minute. But the idea being that the boss will be specific to that piece of music and will, and will somehow change in, in, in relation to the to, to what you're listening to, uh, which I think is pretty interesting. And not you know not ironed out how exactly how that's going to work yet. I've got a few ideas and I need to just need to uh, just start trying out ideas and see how it goes. But I think you know it should. There's definitely ways of doing it. It's just uh, the finer points of how it's actually going to work. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much where I am so far. Um, anyone? Oh yeah, if you want to pre-order the game, you can do. I'll put a link in the in the description below. If you do pre-order, then I'm going to let everyone who's done that have access to this to this alpha pre-alpha build, and I'll try and throw interesting nuggets your way as and when uh, it's appropriate. Um, and then later, further down the line, I'll, I'll just this visualizer can be released to anyone and everyone because it's sort of an interesting uh, demo uh, for the game. Uh, and yeah, so thank you for watching. I uh, plan on doing a number of these videos where when when I've got things to talk about. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. And uh, hope to see you soon.